Before this video begins, I'd just like to give an extra special thank you to my patron, the Beast Boss. Links to join the Patreon can be found in the description down below. This next one I think is very unlikely and it's part of the reason that's leading me to believe that this post isn't very accurate and these aren't accurate leaks. Part of it might just be that I don't want it to happen or don't think it's a good idea, which is that <laughs> will die in the finale. I'm making it very clear there's potential spoilers here because we are going to be covering this leak or like alleged leak in depth so if you don't want spoilers then don't watch it is possible that these aren't true i personally think some of them seem a little bit like they're just guesses or don't seem very accurate but the person who put them together did also say they've got this leak these leaks from kind of all over apparently the internet or from different sources or something like that so it's like maybe some of them could be true maybe some of them aren't true but like i said i, I personally think some of these don't seem that likely to be true but i remember doing a video on the church on ruby road leaks because i thought they didn't sound true because of how like crazy it sounded and they ended up being true so just bear that in mind some of these are quite vague leaks or vague plot lines and stuff like that and like i said some of them i don't actually think are, are that likely to be true but i thought it'd be interesting to go into it but yeah i just wanted to make it clear that th there's going to be spoilers in this so this is the last spoiler warning if you don't want potential spoilers for season two obviously like i said these might not be accurate some of these might be accurate i think i'll go point by point and then we might just see what happens from there really so this is your last spoiler warning i'm gonna click the view spoilers thing in five four three two one so here's here it is yeah this is what i was saying at the start they say okay so here are the latest leaks i found online for series 15 from various sites which is interesting because i don't feel like any of these i feel like we would have heard about some of these leaks if they had come up and i don't think i've heard of any of them before so that to me lends more credence that this could all just be made up who knows maybe they're in very obscure places or something like that but yeah like they say some of them are rather small some of them are huge so beware and once again another spoiler warning it starts off with i believe this is a pretty vague one and possibly just a good guess um which is ruby won't be traveling with the doctor for the majority of the season she'll appear throughout including in a doctor light episode where she'll be working with unit she and the doctor will reunite in the finale however so i think that's like quite a, a likely possibility um we already know that ruby's not going to be in it a whole lot because we're obviously having barada sethu's character belinda chandra who i assume is going to be like basically the main companion of the season with like they say in here ruby just kind of tagging along Long somewhat it's probably going to be very similar to martha showed up in series four for two or three episodes in the middle of the season and back again in the finale something like that as for the doctor light episode where she'll be working with unit that would be very interesting i could see that happening but like i said it does sound like it could just be a good guess like you know she's obviously got history with unit in the finale so she knows every she knows people there we obviously know that kate stewart likes to give people jobs all the time at unit especially young young people young like children and stuff so i think it is quite likely but i think it is mostly a good guess this series will include one returning monster but no daleks or cybermen so this is very interesting i was really hoping we'd get daleks in this next season obviously i like that they took a break for a little while i'm glad that they decided to take a break with them because they're obviously appearing a lot but it's quite surprising with russell because he brought back the daleks quite a lot in his first era and the fact that apparently we're not going to get them again according to this leak in series 15 or season 2 it's very interesting and obviously it says no cybermen as well but it does say we'll include one returning monster now this this could lead into another another point later on down this but it also could mean maybe like it could be referring to joy to the world obviously we know the silorians are going to be in that the star seed will bloom and the flesh will rise it could just mean that but it does say no daleks or cybermen but a returning monster it says series 15 will continue to lean into fantasy which is not very surprising because of how we've had a lot of fantasy elements for a bit of the 60th and most of season one and we know this is kind of leading into the next point but we know there's meant to be stuff with like harbinger that we've a harbinger that we've seen for the 50 set filming and stuff like that so that that we we kind of kind of knew that there was going to be some more paranormal um fantasy type stuff in there similar to that it says episode two will take place in 1950s miami with a focus on the paranormal which we've seen some filming for we've seen the doctor and belinda in their 50s outfits in what's meant to be miami in the 1950s and that's where we saw uh something that kind of spells out harbinger like a cinema sign or something like that so there's probably going to be another godlike entity in there another member of the pantheon probably and there's going to be a harbinger of some kind in that episode probably next it says we'll get an episode that takes place mostly in the tardis which i think will be nice i think that they could do some really fun stuff with that 
that i like when they have such self-contained episodes obviously i thought boom was great in season one i thought wild blue yonder in the 60th specials was very good so it's probably going to be something along those lines if this is true we've got quite a big tardis set now as well tardis interior that we could do a lot of things with a lot of different lighting that you can do in there as well i'd like to see some more rooms in the tardis so we could see that especially as well because we obviously have this massive tardis set but we didn't see much of it in season one they were in it a lot for the first two episodes in the first week with space babies and the devil's cord and then they were kind of in it again for rogue and the finale and that was about it we didn't really see much else of the interior besides when they were stepping out of the tardis uh, in any other episodes so seeing a bit more of the tardis would be nice whether we get a whole episode mostly taking place in the tardis i'm not sure how likely that's going to be but it would be cool to see and i'm sure they could do something really interesting with that murray gold wrote a new original song for a scene that takes place during a concert on an alien planet i think this is possible because we know there's going to be new music stuff when they were asked about it at san diego comic-con they asked if there was going to be a musical episode or more musical stuff and russell kind of said this sort of is going to be but there isn't going to be like a full-on musical episode so that could be what he's referring to or the person person who wrote this could have just kind of heard him say that and then thought that this would be like a, an accurate made-up leak or something like that. Jonah Howard King will be playing Mrs. Flood's grandson. I think this is possible. We obviously know that he's been seen filming. He seems to be a kind of love interest or boyfriend to Ruby Sunday during this season. Whether or not he's going to be playing Mrs. Flood's grandson, I could see it happening. But this is one of those things where it's like, okay, we know we're going to get more Mrs. Flood and we know Jonah Howard King is going to be in there and they've just kind of connected the dots kind of to make this leak seem more legit. I'm not I'm not really sure if that means it's definitely true. I think this is one of those where it's pro possibly just a good guess. This next one I think is possibly quite likely and something that I was kind of thinking could be the case anyway, but again, that could lead to it being a, a good guess, is that Mrs. Flood will be the central antagonist of the finale. Obviously that's quite likely because we know there's been a lot building up to her and it will involve her reshaping time and trapping the Doctor, which I definitely think is something that's quite likely. I think in, uh, I think Darius did a v video talking about his theory for Mrs. Flood and it was quite kind of similar to this idea where obviously we know Mrs. Flood keeps kind of popping up and sort of knowing what's going on uh, around her and stuff like that and who the Doctor is and what the TARDIS is and I think that could indicate that she kind of is maybe able to time travel, is going in and out of time, trapping the Doctor and kind of setting a trap for the Doctor in the finale. I think that is quite likely and she's playing this kind of long game since season one to trap the Doctor in the finale. I think that's quite likely and quite a good idea but whether or not this is just a good guess or is actually a leak I'm not entirely sure. Part of what kind of supports this theory, I guess, could be that we've seen Mrs. Flood in this 50s Miami setting in the filming for that. That could kind of suggest that she's showing up at different times and can uh, time travel and reshape time and stuff like that. It could just be that she comes along for an adventure. This next one, I think, is very unlikely and it's part of the reason that's leading me to believe that this post isn't very accurate and these aren't accurate leaks. Part of it might just be that I don't want it to happen or don't think it's a good idea, which is that Mel will die in the finale, sacrificing herself to save Ruby and Belinda. Like I said, I don't think this is likely to happen. I don't think Mel will die and I hope she doesn't. So that's what I'm saying. Part of it might be just that I hope she doesn't. I don't think it'll be a good thing to do. Bringing back a character, a companion from Classic Who, she wasn't the most beloved character, but bringing her back and kind of redeeming her in some way and making her a much more interesting and good character just to kill her off in the second season, I, I personally don't think that's a great idea. It's like if they brought back, or when they brought back Sarah Jane in the first RTD era, if they killed her off in a finale, it wouldn't quite sit right with me. So so I don't know whether this is just that I think it's unlikely or whether it's that I don't want it to happen. This will leave the Doctor wanting to somewhat distance himself from humanity, fearing that he puts too many people in danger. For me, I think this sounds like a good, just another good guess. It's something that the Doctor kind of does a lot and, you know, worries that he's the danger and he's putting everybody in trouble. It's a very Russell thing to write and stuff that he's kind of done in the past, um, particularly in like Dolan Earth Journey's End and stuff like that. It's definitely very in character for the Doctor. So for me, that, that kind of leads into it being a, a guess, uh, just a really good guess but it could obviously also be true for all we know this next one is one of the quite quite big leaks that i also don't know how likely i feel it to be true with the doctor being out of reach during the events of the war between the land and the sea it will be revealed that the master is now a prisoner of unit and he will be forced to help with the sea devil situation finally giving him a chance to be the hero kind of similar to loki so i don't know how likely this is it's a kind of cool idea i just don't expect them to bring the master back in this season especially played by another actor which we'll get into in the next point like i said earlier they did say there will be a return in, it does say monster but you know a returning villain
villain that isn't the Daleks or Cybermen. But like I said, they do say monster in there, so that might not be referring to the Master. I just don't know how likely it is. And that kind of plot line for the war between the land and the sea, with the Master being a prisoner of Unit and forcing him to help them. I I've been watching the original Sea Devils serial uh, recently for a video. I've not quite finished it, but it sounds like they've kind of been inspired for this leak by that original Sea Devil story because the Master is imprisoned at that point. I think it was by Unit. He's not in Unit, but he's on like an island in like a castle. I feel like that was because of Unit. I feel like Unit imprisoned him there, but I'm not sure. So it sounds to me like they're just kind of basing that off the original Sea Devils kind of story. But with that being said, the war between the land and the sea, maybe they were like, okay, we can do the 1972 Sea Devils story again, but as a mini series this time. So maybe there is some inspiration there that they want to basically do like a soft reboot of the original Sea Devils story. But for me, I think it's once again, just a guess based on kind of like another leak that they've decided to suggest after this one and based on that original Sea Devils story. But yeah, linking into that, as I've been alluding to, they say the Master will be played by Russell Tovey, who obviously we know is going to be in The War Between the Land and the Sea. The only thing kind of add into this and maybe is the reason they chose to say this uh, is we obviously don't know the character's name of who Russell Tovey is playing but I think from what we've seen from filming he just kind of looks like a normal guy he's been in like a car he might even be working for unit he doesn't look like he's dressed like he would be the master but you know it's possible obviously the master disguises himself a lot and stuff like that but obviously in the previous point it says he's a prisoner of unit so I don't think he'd really be disguising himself if he is a prisoner of unit I don't personally think this is very likely introducing a new master in the war between the land and the sea played by a new actor I think is not very likely unless obviously that we know Russell Tovey is going to be in the war between the land and the sea and then we surprisingly see him early in Doc 2 season 2 as the master or something like that but I can't see that happening and also having a Mrs. Flood finale yeah I don't know how likely this is but let me know how likely you think that is in the comments down below Gugu and Batha Raw will be playing a scientist slash activist siding with the sea devils I do think this is quite likely because I have suggested in the past that we don't know who who these uh, who Russell Tovey and Gugu and Batha Raw are playing yet in the war between the land and the sea I've been speculating that it could be either they're working for unit or they're normal people that get roped into this alongside unit or something like that i do think it's likely that one of them isn't working for unit and is just like a normal person which this kind of suggests and i think it's a good idea having one of our lead characters that we're following being a scientist or activist siding with the sea devils i think that's a good idea and it definitely works for the kind of message that it's going for and the kind of thing that pete mcteague would write so i could definitely see that being the case and then i feel like russell tovey would be playing a unit character personally and they're kind of working together and trying to work out the best solution and work out the differences and stuff like that. Like I said earlier, it's kind of surprising if these leaks have uh, have been on the internet before this, that we haven't heard anything about it before. So I don't know how likely these are. And the fact that they're allegedly from different places means some of them might be true, some of them might not be true. Some of these, yeah, I don't think are true. Some of them I don't want to be true if they are, but some of them I think are quite likely, you know. We obviously know Ruby's not going to be in the majority of the season. We know it's probably going to lean more into fantasy. We know we're getting a 50s Miami episode. I wouldn't mind a whole episode set in the TARDIS. I think the idea of Gugu and Bathoraw's character being a scientist or activist working with the sea devils in the war between the land and the sea is a good idea. But let me know what you think uh, about these leaks in the comments down below.